Hello everyone and welcome. We have a lot to cover today. Uh, this video will be on filters. This will be the first of four uh, videos on filters. And this specifically will be on filters on chapters. For those of you who have never used MicroStrategy before, um, chapters uh, and pages are how MicroStrategy organizes uh, data within the dossier. A chapter, if you think of a book, a chapter would be topically based, and then pages within your chapter would kind of support the, the topic of the chapter. As an example, if you're the CEO, a chapter might be sales, another chapter might be marketing, another chapter might be manufacturing, and so forth. If you're the director of sales, then at each chapter could be a sales representative, or each chapter could be a brand. Uh, then pages, going back to the sales uh, director of sales operations, if each chapter is a sales rep, then a page might be brand for that sales rep or a region for that sales rep. So as you can see, it's a, it's a way of telling a story, chapters, then pages. So today, the first thing we'll look at is filters on chapters. So the first thing we'll need to do is actually turn on the filter pane or filter panel. So we'll come up here to the center panel and click on filters and notice it's blank. Now, because we have two visualizations on this um, canvas in this chapter, this filter will affect both of these um, visualizations. So the first thing I want to do is pull on the ship year. When I do that, notice that MicroStrategy will try and pick a filter type that suits the data. I actually don't like the slider bar, so I'm going to change this, and you just have to go to the ellipsis next to the, the filter and I'm going to change this display style to check boxes. Now this to me makes more sense, so if I were to go in here and unclick all, notice that all of my data on the right hand side goes away, and then if I check, click 2015, it comes back. So I'm going to go ahead and click all. So I'm going to show you some features of the filter. So if you look at the ellipsis next to the, the chapter filter, you can pull that down. So you saw me drag a, uh, an attribute onto my filter panel, and that's one way of, of creating it. Another is to use the ellipsis and then select my attribute from here to filter on. Uh, and add visualization filter, that's actually an advanced topic we won't get to today. Unset filter basically gets you back to square one. It, in other words, takes off all your filters. Auto apply filter means that when I make a selection, it immediately makes the change in the data visualization. If I uncheck that, then the uh, an apply button will show up in my filter so that I would need to make my selection and then click apply. Uh, target all filters below. It's just what it says. So, so as you select something in the top filters, it will apply it to the bottom filters and it will eliminate things that are not necessary. So it's really uh, an efficient way of dealing with your filters. And I would check, I tend to check this. Clear all targets means you can clear all of the targeting of the filters below. Collapse all means if you want to collapse your filters, if there's a lot of filters and you don't want to see them all, you can collapse them all and of course help. Then on each of the individual filters, there is an ellipsis and you can click on that. So you can do versus include versus exclude and currently it's include and that's the default. So I'm going to click on exclude and show you the uniqueness of this. So in this case I'm going to exclude 2012, 13, and 14. So what should show up on the report is 2011, 2015 and that's in fact what shows up. Also notice that in the exclusion filter so that it's a quick understanding of what we're applying is it puts a strike through the what we're excluding. The other thing you can do, well let's get back to the filter or the, the menu. I'm going to go back to include and we have a show um, show option for all which is this option up here. I can turn that off. I can unset the filter so that again I can go back and, and go to square one as if there's no filter applied here but this only applies to this one filter. Up here, unset filter applies to all filters. Filter by rank is an advanced function we will not get into here. Display style, is, we've seen it already. This showed up as a slider, we changed it to a checkbox. You can use a search box where you can type, type values in. You can reuse a radio button where you just select one at a time and you also have a drop down. 
interesting on the drop down. I'm going to select that. Um, notice that if I go back here in the display style, a new line was added. It's called Allow Multiple Selections. What that means is that uh, in the drop down, you can see that there's multiple selections. I'm going to hit Cancel here, and I'm going to go back up here. Don't allow multiple selections. When I do the drop down, I can only select one at a time. So um, that's one of the options with the display style. I'm going to go back to check boxes though. One of the things that you can do with the, the filters here is notice as I'm rolling up and down, the word only um, shows up on the right hand side. So if I click on that, I can switch for between 2011 and 2012. Say so I want to add 2015. I just have come down here, collect to select 2015, and it's selected. If I didn't have this, the way I would have to say, I want, now I want to select 2013, the way I would have to do this is unselect one and then reselect the other. So it's two clicks, and by using this only, I actually save some time. So the next thing I want to show you is, I'm going to copy this uh, visualization to a new page. So I come up to the ellipsis, left click, and go, Copy to new page. And now I'm on a new page. To see that, we're going to come over here and turn on the, um, the contents page. And notice that I have chapter one, page one and two. Page one had the two reports, page two. Notice that 2013 is selected here. So if I go back to my filters, select 2012. So again, because we're in the same chapter, it doesn't matter what page I'm on the chapter filter works there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make each chapter particular to a salesperson. So I'm going to add salesperson or person to my filter. And this first chapter is going to be for Anna. So I'm just going to uh, select Anna. And up here in the chapter, I'm going to go rename and Anna. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to du replicate this and I'm going to go duplicate chapter. Now notice it created a chapter called Anna Copy. I'm going to change this. Well the first thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, go and create a chapter for Chuck. And now although it says Anna we're going to come down here and go rename. And we have two pages for Chuck and two pages for Anna. So if we go back to Anna's chapter, we've got Anna and the two pages. And if we go to Chuck's chapter, we've got Chuck's chapter and the two pages. So as you can see, the filter, the chapter filters only apply to these chapters. Um, and they, they, they apply to the whole chapter, each page included. One of the things to keep in mind is as you add um, filters to the chapter filters. You could have a whole series of filters in here. So you can, like I had said before, I think I mentioned, you can collapse them so that it makes a little bit easier to see. And you can expand them one at a time or all of them if you want to change. One thing to keep in mind is this is just one level of filters. There are other filters we will and can apply that actually may uh, get down to a finer level of detail on an individual uh, visualization or a page that you might find more useful. So keep in mind that this the chapter filter is really more of a global filter or a higher level filter. We don't want to put everything in the chapter filter. So hopefully you found this enjoyable.